All right, all right. In this video here, we're going to go over real quick on how to do the uh, C name uh, that Empower Network uh, gives you instructions on how to update your personal domain uh, with it so that this way you can blog on your Empower Network site and uh, send it over to your personal domain. There's so many powerful reasons for doing that, but uh, first and foremost is number one is that you know that Empower Network has a very high or should I say very low Alexa rating, which is a very good thing. So let's kind of go over to Alexa real quick. And you see here that Alexa.com does analytics for websites. So I think right now Google took the number one spot again, and it's typically Google and uh, Facebook are battling it out for the number one spot between number one and number two. So let's look at Google. And you see that Google last week Facebook was number one, Google was number two, and you see this up arrow Google has now made it to the number one uh, global rank site, that's worldwide, and rank number one in the U.S. Now, if we take a look at Facebook, Facebook was number one, and they have dropped down to number two, and number two in the U.S., which is very uh, formidable. It's awesome. You know, I, number one and number two, it's not a big place to be. Now, let's take a look at uh, MSNBC. A lot of times you get a, a brand new PC, and... Like the home page might be uh, MSNBC. A lot of people go here for their news. And you see that NBC is uh, quite respectable. It's got a 3,217 global rank, and it went up by 420. Um, and that's within the previous three months. And it's 625. So you see the lower the number is, the better it is. So if I say low, it means it's a very good rating. Now, if you look at Empower Network, Empower Network has global ranking of 217 and 90 in the U.S. So that's very powerful. So you have an authority blog here that when you get to blog on the Empower Network, it's an authority blog where you can blog today and based on your SEO, search engine optimization, uh, you can be on the front page of Google within the first few hours once everything is indexed on the Internet. So let's log into our Empower um, Things I want some guy here. So uh, Google or Empower Network allows you the ability to um, blog directly to your personal site. So let's click on View and Edit My Blog. So I'm I'm here. I go to View and Edit My Blog because by default you go to View My Activity Feed unless you change that. View and Edit My Blog, and what you see here on the left hand side. Sort of hidden, but if you've gone through our videos uh, and, Dave's, and Dave's videos, you'll see that when you click on this, it gives you some options. And let's go straight to custom domain name. And I'm going to actually remove it. I've already set myself up. I'm going to remove it. And, okay, so set up your custom domain instructions. The first thing that you want to do is go to GoDaddy and set yourself up. So... Let's say you're logging in for the first time. And by the way, if you don't have a GoDaddy site, I'll have a link below here to go ahead and get yourself GoDaddy and get some immediate discounts up front. It's free to have this site, but if you want to register. And I like GoDaddy um, because of the options they offer. But obviously, there are other uh, sites out there. So what you want to do is you want to find a domain. So let's say I wanted to, I came up with this name. I want to register a site called yahoo.com. I could just put in Yahoo. I wonder if there's a Yahoo out there. And you click. And then you wait. And we'll see that. Wow. What a surprise. Yahoo.com is already taken. But GoDaddy now comes up with a couple of other uh, websites that are available that would match that. So I can purchase YahooMembers.co. YahooGroups.co, or you could read this at home at hscom.com. So it comes up with some funky names and something that might be, and you can actually buy some uh, domains that someone had already registered and now they want to sell. Okay? So there's various um, things. So eventually you're going to find a website that you like based on your name. You should register something with your name. Okay? I registered. Uh, the Vic Man. So let's kind of pop on back over. So I've registered something called 
the Vic man. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, and you see the example here, it says www that you're going to follow that exact um, vicman.com. And immediately, once you finish typing in a valid URL, such as co.com, pop on over here and you see that Power Network says, hey, that's available to use. It's only available because I, I, I just removed it. So now we'll click on Next. And now you see Empower Network gives you some options here on what to do. And I've got to tell you, I struggled with it for, uh, for you know, a bunch of time. And you can click on Instructions. And it gives you instructions on how to do it. And to tell you the truth, it was a little bit, uh, it was more of the same. So it wasn't really enough. I kind of uh, fooled with it a little bit. And I got it set up. So what it says here is... Uh, some DNS servers may require you to add a period at the end. I know for a fact that um, GoDaddy does not require the period, nor does Namecheap require the period. But um, so let's, I can skip that. And I only know that for a fact because I've set it up successfully without it. And here is what I need to do. C name value and the C name name. So let's pop on over to my go. And once you pop on over to the domain, um, to your GoDaddy site, you're going to click on products, domains, and make you, let's do that again, products, domains, and make your way on over to manage now. Once you click on manage now, it'll bring you to all of your domains. And then you'll click on the domain you want to fix. And it's the Vicman what I'm working on here and you see here that what I need to do is I need to go into DNS zone file there's nothing I can do on this page so I'm going to go over to DNS zone file and here we have this here was all pre-populated by GoDaddy it was all pre-populated the only thing that was not pre-populated was this down here, the www. This is what I added. But what it was pre-populated with was just an at sign. Why an at sign? Well, if you go above, you'll see that the at sign is set to this IP address. So that means that it goes back to itself. But we want to change it. We want to change, this is where the location we want to change to set up your GoDaddy to point to what Empower Network tells you to do here, okay? Right here. And, and in this case, with GoDaddy and also Namecheap, you do not need the period at the end. If you see here, it tells you right here that some requires you to add a period after the address. We don't need it with GoDaddy or Namecheap. Let's pop on back over. And in order to change that, you have to go to, remember where we went, by default, once you click on domains and you click on the domain you want to set, you, you, you show up on settings, you click, you immediately want to go to DNS zone file, and you want to hit edit. Click on edit. Now you'll see that you have a checkbox for each of your values, all of your aliases here, and... What I want to tell you is that originally, this is what it looked like. It had the at sign. And if you see what the at sign points to, is right here. That's by default that GoDaddy said it. But following the Empower Network instructions, let's pop on over to Empower Network. And I love cut and paste. I'm going to pick this up without the period. I'll do right click. Copy. I'll back over to GoDaddy. I'm, I'm in edit mode. And I'm going to paste it right here. No period. I'll pop out of the box. Click anywhere else in the, in the screen. Pop out of the box. And I'm all set. And then what you do is you click down here where it says save zone file. If you did it successfully, 
it's going to say saved. If there was something, let's say you're not using GoDaddy or Namecheap, and there's others, some other domain registering site that you've used that requires the period, you might get an error at that point, and then go back in and put the period at the end, and that'll let you know if you had it. Now, if all else fails, what you want to do is just go to the support, and uh, GoDaddy offers excellent support. Um, I've called them at 2 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, and they're there. They're there 24-7. That's what, that's what I like about GoDaddy. Uh, depending on who you're using, you may be able to do it or may not be able to do it. Based on that, you may have to just simply um, send them an email or whatnot. Okay, so Empower Network. Once you've done that, now it says here, step three, go make some lunch, then click Verify My Custom Domain button below. Now, I just happen to know that GoDaddy puts out the, uh, uh, letting you know that, hey, it may not be available for 24 to 48 hours, any DNS changes. Uh, but I know that GoDaddy, Namecheap is the same way. They like to over-deliver and under-promise. So I clicked on it after setting it up, and it was immediately available. This is what you want to see. You don't want to see big red writing that says, no good. You want to see domain verified. Well, let me just kind of show you what it would look like if it wasn't. That, well, I'd have to remove it again. I don't feel like doing that. But if it didn't work right over here, instead of domain verified successfully, you would have some red writing that says could not be verified. Now, that's one of two reasons. Either you did it wrong at your domain site where you verified that domain, or uh, it could be that you needed to go make some lunch and come back and wait 30 minutes. And again, um, it could be 24 to 48 hours is what uh, GoDaddy says in their site. But now you're set. At this point here now, what you can do is you can immediately start blogging with your Empower Network site and sending it on over to your personal domain. This creates additional backlinks for you, which is SEO friendly, and it starts helping your personal domain site start ranking higher uh, in the mix. And uh, it's only going to help you, especially coming from a site like Empower Network. And now your personal domain is also available to put that blog uh, up on Facebook uh, without getting um, uh, knocked down because it's an Empower Network or some other type of affiliate program. So that'll help you get up on Facebook also. So I hope that helps. Uh, in our next uh, video, I'm going to show you there's a custom domain here that Empower Network allows you, which is unbelievable. If you see here, I've got Vicman at Empower Network, but I've also set up other um, sites that are available, uh, which I'll show you under, uh, actually it's under um, additional links, where I have work from home, uh, Hyderabad-India. So there's other domains that you can set up that will be... Um, under Empower Network. So you see I have work-from-home.empowernetwork.com. And you can blog directly to that and also go to your custom domain. So I'll go over that in another video, but for now, hope that helps you get to your C name set up and uh, click like or make a comment below on the blog or the video, and we'll see you in the next one.